Hi, welcome to BusyBots. Thanks for stopping by. Today let's take a look at the PG35 motor, which you can see here on the extruder. It's the small motor behind the green extruder body. The PG35 motor is very common with Mental Max printers. It's uh, small, it's lightweight, it's compact, it's very strong. Uh, it does have a weakness, however, and that's in the gearbox, which is the white housing attached to the metal uh, can of the motor. And I'm putting this video up so that people that have PG35s, uh, haven't, uh, I haven't seen other pictures of what's inside, so people may be curious. Uh, also, there's a chance that you might be able to repair it or fix it. The, the basic issue is that there's two versions of the PG35. There's a long shaft version and a short shaft version. The initial round of extruder bodies that came out were designed for the long shaft, and those motors are getting hard to find now. Uh, but there are supplies of the short shaft. You have to be careful though in using the short shaft that your extruder is designed for it. I'll include some links in the, sh in the, in the show notes, the video notes, for some really good extruder bodies that can utilize the short shaft version. Uh, there is a chance though that you can take the gears from a short shaft and put it back into the long shaft if your long shaft uh, gearbox blows up. So I'm putting this up here to help you decide what you may want to do give you some options on uh, repairing your gearbox or if you're just curious to see what's inside. 